To the class of 2017, greetings and congratulations. Let us begin with a passage from Ecclesiastes. Ship your grain across the sea. After many days, you may receive a return. Invest in seven ventures, yes, in eight. You do not know what disaster may come upon the land. If clouds are full of water, they pour rain to the earth. Whether a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where it falls, there it will lie. Whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. Sow your seed in the morning, and at evening let your hands not be idle. For you don't, do not know which will succeed, whether this or that, or whether both will do equally well. As we gather today and begin the process of honoring our seniors leading up to commencement, we inevitably look back at what each of them has accomplished. This group has many gifts and talents. The class of 2017 has made all of us proud with their academic, artistic, athletic, and service successes. And we celebrated many of their accomplishments at our award ceremony yesterday. But we also look ahead to their bright futures and our hopes for each of them. This passage from Ecclesiastes emphasizes the importance of preparing for uncertainty and inevitable change. It asks us to not be idle and to actively ship, invest, and sow. Prepare for uncertainty. This is a good message for all of us. Seniors, as you look ahead, know that many things in life that you must do, as noted in this passage, are also risks. In the modern world, taking a leadership role, accepting a new job or new responsibilities, networking, and meeting new people all involve uncertainty. All of these and many more harbor the possibility of failing or being rejected, but the greatest risk is to sit idly by while everything changes. Unfortunately, most people have a desire or perhaps a reactionary impulse to keep change at bay, to remain comfortable in what we know and in what we do. Continuity is part of life, and we work toward a state of homeostasis, and in doing so, inertia takes over. Even when we know that change or risk is required, at the core, we remain conservative creatures with a preference for predictability. We have a deep impulse to preserve continuity and familiarity in life. Yet, class of 2017, we know that the future you are preparing for will constantly be changing and that you will need to adapt throughout your lives. It is inevitable. The risks you need to take may be big or small, but having the confidence in yourself to take chances may provide the greatest rewards. We all have to find ways to reconcile the possibility of failure or discomfort with our abilities and our dreams. But in this fast-paced, ever-changing landscape, as we heard in Ecclesiastes, we do not know which will succeed, whether this or that, or whether both will do equally well. We just know that everything changes and that we need to take risks to remain successful. A few years ago, Lupita Nyong'o was profiled in one of my alumni magazines about her time at the Yale School of Drama. She is well known for her Academy Award in 12 Years a Slave and is extremely successful. So I was struck by the way she described the ups and downs of her time at Yale and what she really took away from the experience. She said in the profile, quote, I thought I was going to school to be other people, but really I learned to be myself, accepting myself, my strengths, and my weaknesses. I remember days where I'd have classmates break down sobbing because they just blew it in front of the class, and then in the evening going to see them in a production and being blown away by the magnitude of their talent. That made me more, far more forgiving of myself and also more daring. 
Because you fail, then what? Life goes on. It is only when you risk failure that you discover things. When you play it safe, you're not expressing the utmost of your human experience." End quote. I will admit that my innate nature also tends toward the known and safe. And since one of the most terrifying things for anyone is public speaking, right now this phrase is very important to me. It is only when you risk failure that you discover things. When you play it safe, you are not expressing the utmost of your human experience. Seniors, many of the changes and the decisions you will make involve risk, and I know that you are more suited for it than I. O'Neill has prepared you for the discomfort of change and given you the courage to accept challenges. The O'Neill School is a special place with extraordinary people, and I promise you that none of us will forget this year or the class of 2017. Seniors, you are indeed special, and I thank you all for your tone and leadership. We'll award your diplomas tomorrow with pride. An O'Neill education is a gift, and we thank your families for their commitment to give each of you and the faculty this opportunity. Expectations are high for our graduates, and I'm confident that you will all achieve. So seniors, I wish you all the best. Each of you has much to look forward to and to accomplish throughout your lives. Don't be idle, take appropriate risks, and express the utmost of your human experience. I leave you with the words of Mark Twain. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do by than the ones you did. So, throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, and discover. <laughs>